what is endometriosis? What is it? Why do I have it? Am I experiencing endometriosis? Could I possibly have it? Could my daughter possibly have it? I know these are questions that people ask when they watch this video. So here I am to explain to you guys exactly what endometriosis is, how it affects you, and how you can get on your journey to a better life. I'm gonna document my whole entire journey. Endometriosis is where the lining of the uterus um, that's normally shed from the uterine wall, the inside of the uterus, it's normally shed monthly with your menstrual cycle. Um, unfortunately, what happens with women who have endometriosis is that that lining is not shed. Um, what happens is that it's reabsorbed back in the body and it grows on different organs in the body. It can grow on your bladder. Um, it can grow on the outside of your uterus. Um, it can connect to um, a lot of different things on the inside, um, your intestines and things like that. Well, what happens is once that tissue, once that lining gets embedded in you know, the other organs, um, it starts to contract almost like you would when you're giving a baby or you're on your menstrual cycle and it becomes painful. Now, what I do want to clarify is that not every woman that experiences or has endometriosis um, has a lot of pain. Unfortunately, I'm just one of them. And I know a lot of women who, who have endometriosis who experience tremendous amounts of pain. Now, with that being said, as far as me explaining what endometriosis is, I wanted to also let you guys know that the pain does not normally necessarily last with just your menstrual cycle. So for me, my personal experience is that endometriosis causes me to have intense flare-ups and um, prolonged amounts of pain. Um, so I normally am in pain about three, two to three weeks out of the month. Um, and so it can be re very frustrating. Another one of the symptoms for me is that I have sciatica. Um, at first I had no clue what sciatica was. I was like, I didn't know what it was. I had no clue. Um, and so it wasn't until I went to go see my chiropractor um, and he said, it's probably sciatica. But what can happen is the um, tissue that grows can become inflamed and touch different nerves and things in the body, as I stated earlier. Um, so what I found for me is that staying away from foods that are high in inflammation, so that would be dairy, any type of cheese, milk, soy, um, it's not good for women who have endometriosis. Sugar, bread, processed foods. So you pretty much want to stay away from things that have a lot of sugar or a lot of dairy, um, gluten foods, things like that. So what I started to do was, as I dove deeper into my research um, toward the beginning of my journey, because I've been on such a long road, toward the beginning of my journey when I tried to take the holistic approach, to um, help me with my symptoms. Unfortunately, because I didn't change my eating habits, nothing really changed, right? So what I started to do was one of my holistic doctors shared with me um, about the, the blood type diet. And basically I found out what my blood type was. And once I found out what my blood type was, I purchased a book and I can actually put that in the link below. I purchased a book that pretty much told me the do's and don'ts. Um, for my particular blood type. One of the most profound things that I found is that chicken is a number one no-no for me. So when I completely eliminated chicken from my diet, it didn't change everything, but I noticed a huge difference in my flow. What I found was that the lectins in the inside of the chicken, which is found in the muscle tissue of chicken, um, caused my blood to actually clot. And so once I eliminated that, I eliminated the clot. So my flow was never my issue, but my pain was. So that's what I was seeking the holistic doctors for and doing a lot of research on. I've tried acupuncture, which worked well as far as relaxing me, but it did not help with the pain that I was experiencing in my body per se. Um, I've also tried cupping, which is also good for removing stagnation, 
Um, and I'll put some information about that below for you guys to read as well. And again, that was something that helped to relax me, but did it take away my pain? No, it didn't. I've also tried float therapy. I've tried so many different things. I tried float therapy and float therapy is just basically a water pod full of sea salt. And um, you typically get in the, the air pod, I mean the float pod or the pod and you float. And so the, the sea salt that's in the, it's like a lot of sea salt. The sea salt that's inside of the um, pod helps to pull out and remove toxins. Now, did it relax me? Absolutely. Did it help my pain? Not necessarily. So what I want to do um, is just share a few women who have um, dealt with endometriosis, one of them being TMR. I've been very open about, you know, having something called endometriosis, mm -hmm. um, which is a highly inflammatory condition. Um, and basically, that's where my, that's how I was inspired to, you know, do this cookbook. And you can take Gabrielle Union for an example. Adenomyosis is endometriosis of the muscle. Anyone can, any woman can get endometriosis or adenomyosis. Because of the age. increased awareness of endometriosis, it's challenging doctors to really look deeper into what endometriosis is and challenge themselves to learn more about the disease so that they can properly treat their patients and have them um, be able to have a more effective visit when they come to the doctor's office. So if you do... I'm gonna document my whole entire journey just because I want you guys to be able to look back on this a year from now and be like, wow, God did it just for her. And if he can do it just for her, he'll do it just for me and he will, I know he will. I stand in agreement with any woman who is experiencing endometriosis and that wants relief and wants to be able to have a better life. I stand in agreement with you because I know that it is possible. And so because of that, we're gonna ride this wave. We're gonna ride this journey together. I'm going to be bringing, like I said before, and I'm so excited because I've been networking and connecting with other women specifically for people to know that they have a voice and to not stop advocating for yourself. We can overcome this together. I love you guys.